Alrighty, what's going on team? We are in a special episode that I'm going to start doing a series called Saturdays are for the Boys. And this is our old base, but I'm playing with two of my friends. Well, actually, one's my cousin and one's my friend. I'm just going to give you guys a little tour of the old base that we're not really at anymore, but it's got kind of our stuff. So here's our enchanting room. Don't run away, Sebastian. Got a little anvil, grindstone, you know the works, or lapis, some enchants. There's some bamboo that took us forever to find. Sweet berries. And there you can hear my friends. Got some farms going on here. Cactus, you know. Here we got the cow crusher and we made a sheep crusher on this one too for when you go to the nether because look at all this. Beautiful. Got our sugar cane farm. And I built the bamboo farm like the sugar cane farm, which I like way better than I like the like the other one I made in my actual survival series. So now to show you the fun stuff right here's where we made our mules that i'm on sebastian there's a horse and a donkey this is a bridge that we built and we're letting the grass fill in make a path hey and there's my cousin say hi to my youtube friends <laughs> all right if you look up there that is the fortress of solitude the castle we're making i got this part done and now i'm building up up there and we're going to put a castle on top of that after we level it out but wait there's more. That's a witch's hut we found, and we killed the witch, but we left it because it looks cool. There are boats and whatnot. These are the stairs that the mule has a really hard time going up for some reason. And this is the inside so far, Ark Sebastian. And this is a huge cavern. Oh, there's slime. Enchanting room. Yeah, told you that earlier. Come on, Balloon. I told you it can do everything. So this is just the start of the area, and then... It's just a bunch of caverns that we're messing with. We're going to do make these stone bricks and make it pillars. It's kind of like a dwarven type structure. And I think this, yeah, this is my little room that I put in. And then this is my mine down there. Nothing too crazy. Pretty cool little setup. Takes a long time to do, I'll tell you that. So I'll show you the walls and then I'll show you our, go back to the other place and show you the map while we have. Should have done that first. And then it's just going to be us talking and playing and uh, you guys saying how we do. Hey friend, this is my dog that has almost killed uh, the other friend we're playing with alone. Twice, probably not die with it. So this is where we're going to put a castle and I'm running the wall to the edge here. So that way it looks like a pretty defendable area. Boom, this would be a pretty cool place to flatten all this up. There's our other village way over there. So kind of see it. What's a minion? Oh, uh, a mob maybe? <laughs> This is what the top of the wall looks like. It took me quite some time to do. I'm eventually gonna run this up and match it. So it looks pretty cool. These are kind of like defensive structures, you know. Pretty cool stuff. And I put that around the inside because I think it looks pretty cool. I'm just about that, you know, pretty cool life. Alrighty, got some slime balls. Put that in there. Oops, we need some more chests. Donkeys go down steps away faster than they go up steps because uh, I guess mules not donkeys. I apologize. Oh. <laughs> Uh, how do you die to a skeleton, dude? That's embarrassing. Um, all right. Here it is. This is a start of our map wall. This is where we are at. And this is where our new castle base is. And all these are villages. This is an outpost for a pillage farm, pillager raid farm. And this is where we actually found the jungle after like countless hours of searching and filling in maps. We got some music discs. Uh, I don't know. They're speaker knockers. I'll tell you that if you ever find them. Ooh, let's make some diamond stuff. I do want to make another pick. Hey, you cannot do that. I'm going to revoke your privileges. Yeah, I got plenty of hoes. Can't remember where I put anything in this. Fire stick. Oh, we used all the diamonds. Yeah, that's the only reason I did it. Buy gold armor. Can't flex on these peasants anymore. We had to upgrade to a tougher material. Oh, I didn't make a diamond sword, though. Sleep time. Are you guys going to sleep or should I just head over there? I have no desire to do that, actually. Why? Why would you teleport me? You teleported me to fucking Balone. Yeah, I am Zach. I'm not Seth. I was out of bed and now I'm my donkey's over there. This is a nightmare. Ooh, that was weird. Too much. Now I got Balone's wooden hose in my inventory. <coughs> it's too much power. It's corrupting you. We got plenty of coal. Or as Balone says, charcoal. And then he doesn't mind most of it. And he's just like, there's so much coal. And I'm like, yeah, we need it. We're going to burn a lot of coal. A lot. Why don't you have a chest piece on, Alex? Here you go. Upgrade your life. That one's got blast protection on it, so it'll keep you safe from those sneaky little creepers. I mean, it does suck. Gold armor's like trash, but I don't even know why it's in the game. <laughs> oh, who took my gold out of that first furnace? Yeah, you jacked my XP, bro. Bruh. I was about to make a bunch more chests too, but 
Okay, we do have it over here. <laughs> I never pull out. Felt real stupid right there. I got dark oak planks out and I was like, uh, how come I can't turn these into planks? Chest. Do we have any leather over here? Two leather? Nah. I remember that time that uh, he teleported me to Balone. That was pretty exciting. So if you guys go swimming, the gold helmet and boots that have Depth Strider 3 and the helmet has a Respiration Aqua Infinity there. In the chest, I'm making the gold chest. I made some other chests. I'm going to go get some uh, leather so we can actually label them. I had it tied up outside. And I'm moving the diamonds and emeralds in the chest. And that'll be like our expensive chest. Try to do some organization. That'll be like the other place where it'll eventually just get overfilled with stuff. And this is such a peaceful walk through the swampy trees in my not gold armor. I feel weaker in diamond armor. Well, did you ever find that zombie spawner back? We definitely need that so we can make an XP farm. I was doing the gopher hole thing, so the strip mines over there, Blown said he started making one and then found something else. Cut all this bamboo down over here, don't need it. Oh, don't worry, we still have the bamboo farm going. That we'll have to rebuild over here. Build everything underground. Exactly. I'm gonna make them a hundred long. Not gonna do that. I lied to you. All that bamboo you had, I chopped it down. It gave me nine and a quarter stacks of bamboo. Sha, <laughs> pretty nice, y'all. Dude, it's just the Java scaffolding is not near as efficient as the bedrock scaffolding. Crouch down underneath it, I guess is how to word that. Dude, the chest I was in when you teleported me is still open. Like the top of it. I'm not even going to access it. I think it'll close it if I do. I'd, get, I'd try to get it, yeah. Why did I come back? I just came back here for my mule, right? Got a bunch of bamboo. We don't really need over there. We'll bring his saplings with us. Where are our acacia saplings? It was probably just bugged out for some reason. I'm not gonna bring everything over. We don't have any acacia saplings. And uh, no, I haven't gone over there. Like all the other ones I just grabbed were. Hey, there's some in this. I didn't. I had the other ones inside. Sebastian was not on a lead, even though I had him on one, but he didn't move. And my lead's gone now. You got another lead over there. Or is there supposedly there's supposed to be some here? Okay, now press F3 and remember the coordinates. Do we even have it? We should have a string here somewhere. There's some string. I almost made a 20 leads, but a bit excessive. Well, your bridge is almost filled in, like the grass. Do what? My, my father called me. That iron farm I made on my server is working pretty good these days. Every once in a while, I guess that lava blade area I made was just, I think maybe it needs to be three wide and I only have it two, because sometimes the iron golem spawns on the back edge of it. But I mean, for the most part, it's doomed. I think I've got like uh, two full stacks. That's all the, I think what do I want to put? I guess I want to fold in here. Yeah, that one, it had more villagers than the one I have, so. But it got to a point where with the other one that we had way, way more uh, iron than we knew what to do with. <laughs> uh, I've never seen someone die to skeleton so many times. You can turn it into an obsidian farm. Remember, you can do your F3 thing and see if there's diamond underneath that lava or what's underneath it. Oh, uh, no, I'm, I'm a strong anti-lava individual. Just so you guys know, I hate having an unorganized chest. That's why I'm doing this, and you guys just get to watch me. I need to make some more, actually. We need a food chest. We need diorite, andesite. We need, like, five more. And then I'm going to end up having to move all of them once we get the down there set up. Did you kiss it? This will be our food chest. Now, Balloon, just so you're aware, I am labeling all of these chests that I'm making with picture frames. So if there's any confusion, find different chests to put your stuff in. I'm not saying that to be mean. I'm saying it because you need to not make my chest disorganized. Just put the andesite and diorite in the same chest for now because we don't get too many of them. Actually, polished, and polished andesite doesn't look too bad. I used it in my survival world to do, I did like a whole mine entrance with it. Took me a little bit, but I uh, need We'll put granite in there. Two more chests. One will be like a miscellaneous chest, which will probably be Blown's favorite chest. I guess I can put a ladder in there. Uh, All right, mule, can you hee haw on your own time? Hee hee your lash. Aw. That would be an exit, but not to correct you or anything. Well, if it's out, it's an exit. I always come in. And I was like, bitch. You really said it though, right? 
Yeah, 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 totally. All right, guys, we're only 28 minutes into this. I need at least an hour of content to shift through. That way it takes me two hours to make a video. Then my computer will crash because the video editing takes an immense amount of computing. I have done an outstanding job up here, guys. You're you're all welcome for what I've done. Just so that way, once we get that everything set up, we can move it all down to that main room. Beautiful. We really need to make this area up here bigger if we're going to have tiny houses for, like, villagers. And then have one big trading hall for, like, 20 librarians. I've got, like, eight librarians on my survival world. And I still don't have, like... Would you like, like me to come be your bodyguard? Keep you alive? They suck on Java. I can make you a bow. Oh, that's... <laughs> that's not an option, so no. And... Oops. And it'll make your weapon, like, you get sharpness on a sword or... Any three string. Okay. I gotta bring some stuff back from the other base to make you a bow. So like, I only had two up here. Everything's organized now, so it's really easy to find it. Something fell. What was it? I guess it was, hey, there's a little slime ball in the boat out front. Hey, buddy. I don't find them on my other worlds. Something, I think it's because we're in like an actual mountain. I think it's kind of, that's where they spawn as mountains. And normally we don't build or do anything in mountains because, I don't know, we're not cool. Press F3 and see what that says the biome is. Yeah. Hot pocket. Sebastian, load up some stuff so I don't have to carry everything. We have to take less trips. Actually, I should probably do this. Put all my picks and stuff in him and then be like, where the hell did all my stuff go? We have a bunch of string over here. I think I've got most of the stuff went from over here, from inside the base. Okay, yeah, the slime box is just kind of like the miscellaneous box. It's for stuff that doesn't have a item place, item frame with a thing on it. You know what I mean? Probably just throw that gold horse armor away. I only take diamond horse armor personally, but most of the time I don't even use a horse. Once I get a mule, I normally use it. Even though the horse has an easier time going upstairs, apparently. I got you, Dad. Hey, there's a... What are you doing with that bow on the ground there? Is it, like, broken or something? I don't know if you guys are aware of this, but wheat is considered a food item in my mind. It's the second time I've thrown a torch above this. Check. Oh, because I picked up a bow for the first time. Now I can make dispensers. Sebastian, what do you have for me? Still need about... 10 more chests than we actually have, but it's good enough for who it's for. Are you guys dead? Everyone's dead, I guess. Hello! Hello! Hi. Hello? Can you hear me? Oh, I don't know. I every, just Everyone went quiet, and then all of a sudden Seth left, but he's still in Discord, and no one was responding to me, and I'm like, uh... Every time. Four. 24? To make a full set of diamond dang. I need to find some more. You guys see that quick math? Hoo-hoo! Big brain. Why's he got this down? Give him torches. Oh, doing some thieveries, you know. Ooh. I guess I could have just brought all those down here and set the chest up down here, but what happened? Yeah, I did. The one that you've been to uh, at least 20 other times this year? No, I got my meal for free. No, I didn't, Central Bank, so thank you. Girls on drugs. Hey, Sive, go ahead and edit that in. Balone said it. Sleep it time! So we need 24 diamonds to make Balone a set of diamond armor. We only have 16. It's fine. I'll, uh, I'm going back to mine. I probably won't find any, but... If I do, I'll grab that fortune pick. I'll try to get... I made a diamond pick, but I'm not using it. I have it in my donkey. I'll try to, when I hit 30, try to get unbreaking three so we can add them together. Maybe I'll get, like, unbreaking three and silk touch, which would actually would ruin that pick. There's going to be a little cavern area near me because I hear zombies growling. There's one right above me. Oh, yeah. Mr. Jones. I've been working on that. Is that song copyrighted? Uh, that was a cover for my uh, YouTube music channel. So uh, you can't copyright it. It was a cover. Well, I thought someone bought it and made it uh, universal like a year ago. Hope some rich person like a year or two ago is like, I'm buying it. And then he's like, now it's public domain. Everyone can sing happy birthday. Think about the person who owned that, how much money they were making. Because everyone wanted to sing happy birthday. I believe it. I mean, every restaurant you went to had to make up their own because they didn't want to pay to sing happy birthday. Dang capitalists and their money making schemes. We don't want people to make money. Uh-uh. Diamonds, where are you? They need to make like a mod where you can get like a metal detector, but it's like a diamond detector and you just hold in your off hand. That's if you're getting closer to diamonds, it just starts. Beep, 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 beep. Uh oh, Gillespie. Oh, you just like say stop or all right, what I missed, then we answer and then you leave and then come back like five minutes later and say the same thing. All right, what I missed? I'm sorry, Blown. Probably sleep depriven, ravened. Check out this obsidian farm I'm making. Oh, to be an 
to not be a veteran. Things that you discover all over again. It's like when we watched that Class Royale video last night from five years ago, like when it first came out, you just forget so much. You're like, oh my goodness, everyone was so dumb back. The game is so different now. You know what I'm talking about, Balone? You play Class Royale? You're probably like the number one dude. You probably made like the Chinese name and everything. They'll, they'll never know it's me. Uh, it's actually a copyrighted name. I think uh, Jane Smith copyrighted it after his remake of Karate Kid. No. No. <laughs> I'm really good at making stuff up and sounding convincing, though, so I understand why you'd believe that. <laughs> that sounds like something, you know, that might have actually happened. His dad is Will Smith, and he did say J. Cole was, like, the dad he never had or something, and we're like, dude, what are you talking about? I just wish I had a dad. Any dad would do. <laughs> That's why a lot of times when I set up my mind, like they say it putting your feet on 11 is like the best one. That's where like lava starts. So a lot of times I'll actually start my mind on 12 because you miss a lot of lava and it saves you a lot of time. I'm on 11 right now, but I can hear the lava bubbling around me and you keep talking about it. Yeah, that's copyrighted. Now we're going to get demonetized. Thanks. Yeah. I've been recording for 47 minutes, and then I have to edit it, so. Nice! Way to go, dude! Oxygen. Bet you're glad Balone's got those iron, or obsidian farms set up now. You know where the water is. At some point, <laughs> that would be a Minecraft world I'd be scared to play in. I can tell you that much. We need to see some of the game modes. I can agree with you on that. Oh shit, I freaking broke a block and a creeper was right on top of it <laughs> fell down on me. It still blew up, but I got far enough away to where I don't think it affected me. Sneaky little guys. So I've edited that out. Blown. Why don't you edit my videos for me so I can just say stuff like blown, edit that out in my videos? Why, oh, dude, it's pretty easy. I do it. I do it at least once a day, sometimes more. I did find gold out of it, so I mean, Reaper kind of helped us out. He was just a creep in. We'd love to do a new world when they come out the update and have to do it on hardcore. Hardcore on Java. Huh? <laughs> I'm pretty sure hardcore on Java is significantly harder than it is on Bedrock. Well, because, well, in hardcore, zombies can break down doors, which they can't in this one. So that, that's why I have to use iron doors. And they do a lot more damage, and creepers will actually mess you up. I don't know what they'll do if you have full, like, decked out netherite. It probably won't really do anything, but it might. I know with the iron armor, it'll mess you up. Go, go, go. Every time I find gold, I always think like those old infomercials for stuff. All right. We're all going on sale now. Don't, don't miss out on it. The best deals. Gold, gold, gold. If you or your family has been exposed to asbestos and are diagnosed with cancer, you may be entitled to a claim. Please call the law office of Swanson, Swanson, and Swanson. <laughs> He's a cop. <laughs> Get a leg up on your cancer. <laughs> Call the law offices of Joe Swanson. Is that that vulture? Oh, I was. 
More like a turkey hawk. There's a bunch of obsidian over here. I think the game you just did it itself. There's a bunch more water right above this. Let's let's make more. Yay! We're the best. Ugh. Ace hood. We heck a trill. What is going on? Get in the water. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now go up. Hello! It's your neighborhood hero, John McClain. I don't think we've been in this shaft. What was the last one? I know. That's why he's uh, all the length of the seven iron. It's the same swing path. Right, Balloon? Your wiener? Yeah, seven iron. You're up at Meadow Lake. How do you not call? Your mom's rich and your sister's rich. You just wait for that trust fund to kick in. Oh, I'd probably kill him then. <laughs> see. Test your friendship real quick. Tell me that. <laughs> I think probably Alana's getting all of it. Maybe your parents are going to be like those parents that just spend all their money on themselves and leave you guys nothing. Like a lot of rich parents are doing. They're like, our kids need to work for their stuff. We had to, so. We worked for it, so. <laughs> it's too nice. I haven't. I found a, just another mine shaft, so. Right. Ha, congratulations. You played yourself. Bunch of creepers in this little all here. This is like that open area in the shaft where there's probably the cave spider spawn right by it. Come on, creeper. I know you want to come try to blow me up. I'm a hot commodity. Eat direct, nerd. Dude, I'm like the Minecraft pro. Iron. Isn't it iron pick? Don't have you had a mine collapse happen to you yet? Ow! Ooh, I'm not going to tell you how that happened then. It's, it'll be funny. You'll probably. You'll probably, I'm not going to tell you, you can ask, but you'll probably drown or suffocate. Stupid creeper. Hate you. The game has indicators, too, that you don't know about yet, so it'll be great. Hey, an iron pick. What am I at? 13? Uh, made the thing, my thing, my mining shaft? Yeah. Woo. Words with friends. Sheesh. <laughs> Sheesh. And then I found an in-game shaft. That's how I was going to end that sentence. Ah, uh, one of the most annoying things in the game. <laughs> I'm nowhere near a bed balloon. I can come back though. See, I actually marked my tunnel correctly. I put the torches on the right, so now I'm following them on the left. And now I'm making my way out. Ooh, sheesh. I jumped in a lava pool though. I thought your girlfriend's name was Emily. You named a boy cat Lexi. That's progressive. <laughs> I am a girl for a... Uh gender neutral purposes or whatever it's called yeah i'm a girl i want all them simps with that simp coin that tourette's girl is pretty funny someone donated like a hundred simp coins or whatever whatever the hell the thing is money and she is like simp coin i'm gonna use that money to go on a date with my boyfriend and then she's like oh i'm so sorry i don't even have a boyfriend she's just like roasting this guy <laughs> good times maybe you uh, i'd probably wear it outside of the nether you're a lot more likely to lose it in the nether than you are in the real world this should protect you pretty well from skeletons you probably don't even know how to change it either <laughs> you said she cried oh you like might cut out when you said that i thought you said she cried i was like sheesh why you got on iron pants bro <laughs> i didn't bring the cactuses over sorry act high do you see the new thing that they're going to, uh, the, like the stalactites and whatever you make, you can put them above cauldrons and they'll drip and keep refilling the cauldron. Yeah, so cauldrons actually will have a use of it. I mean, they're pretty useless right now. Like, are they even a workstation? Like, oh, you can dye leather in uh, Java. The guy who you should just not watch his tutorials, that guy. They never work, man. What? Oh! <laughs> I just Bobby Schmurdered that dude. He was so dead set trying to get blown. He's just stuck running into the door. All right, guys, you've got to see all the fun stuff we do. So everyone say bye. Bye, YouTube. Hey, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Probably going to do this on Saturdays. Saturdays are for the boys. Stay tuned. Like, subscribe. Peace. <laughs>